Warm welcome back to the channel everyone. Uh, what we're going to have a little look at today is um, metal shaping, um, metal work. Now uh, we're talking about taking a flat or at least a relatively flat sheet of steel like this is about one millimeter and turning it into a, a bowl shape because fundamentally whenever you are doing any sort of um, metal work you are either shrinking metal or you are stretching metal and that's how you get it to form into shapes um, now it's relatively straightforward to take something like this and to bend a curve in it either this way to bend the curve into it that way where it starts to get a little bit more challenging is where you get compound curves so a, a bowl whereby the metal curves up like this and curves up and curves up there so we're going to have a little look at how you can um, attain that sort of shape by doing some basic metal shrinking and um, so i'm going to sort of lay down some marks on here where i need the metal to shrink and when you shrink the metal what you are effectively doing is making it a little bit thicker and that is going to be drawing it up from the sides now there's lots of uh, expensive tools that you can use to do this so you've got shrinking stretching tools if you are talking purely about stretching metal which is making it thinner you often see people using an English wheel and they're all they're all well and good they're all great but you really want to kind of learn the techniques behind doing it using hand tools so I have just marked out on here some lines that I'm roughly going to use to, to kind of follow um, in order to shrink the metal here which will start pulling this side up shrink the metal here start pulling this side up and shrink this will start pulling this side up as well to try and form a, uh, a bowl shaped curve whilst leaving this flat the sort of thing you might want to do if you're forming the edge of a windscreen surround or the curve um, the lip of a, uh, a roll pan or something along those kinds of lines and all we are going to be doing with this is we're going to be looking at the very basic techniques, which is how do we actually thicken that metal up? How do we get it to shrink? And it can be done very easily with a blowtorch. This is a map torch. You don't even have to actually do that. Um, I'm going to because when you heat metal, you actually cause it to um, stretch a bit molecules get hotter more energy they spread out slightly um, it also makes it easier to work so if we can shrink the metal when it's hot as it cools down it will shrink even more and it help fix that curve in they can be done without it um, we're going to use a cross pane hammer like this for actually knocking in our little V's that we're going to make in there in order to help the metal tuck around and then we're going to use a rubber mallet for fixing it in place because we're going to fix it in place um, and actually cause it to shrink with a rubber mallet against the dolly don't want to use a metal um, body hammer because if I do I'm liable to actually re-stretch the metal that I've just tried to shrink so I'm going to take this over to the bench vise and we're going to get it all set up and so I'm going to take you through how you can use these basic tools and what we're kind of doing at each stage. Okay so I've got the vice here that I will use as both a method of forming tucks into the sheet metal here and also as a bit of a dolly for dressing those uh, back in got a blowtorch there now what you're going to see me do here once it's um, warmed up and I'm only going to warm it up till the metal goes blue we're not going to get it red hot we're not going to get it cherry we're just going to get it slightly blued on the surface is you're going to see me hit the metal here with that end of the hammer against here this 
little gap I've put in the vise. And what I'm going to be trying to do is to create a small V effectively in here, um, which is going to start to pucker up the edge and you're going to see it begin to uh, begin to fold up. Um, that can be done with a number of other tools, something called a tucking fork, which is looks at, uh, effectively like a pair of pliers. You kind of put it over there, twist it one way and twist it the other. And then what it does is it forms a little V in there. We're just going to be doing exactly the same with the hammer here, first of all. So you can see roughly following my marked lines along there, we've already got the curved compound shape starting to form. Now, there are still, it's difficult to see on there, that side's probably easier to see, that the little lips that we've got in there, from where we've knocked the Vs in, are still in place. So what we're gonna need to do is to now actually start hammering these back out the other way. Um, I should be able to do it on there. Now we start from the edge, so where that edge is, we'll knock that down flat, which kind of fixes that bend, that shape, into the metal. And then we'll just knock back the rest of the V there. And I'll use the rubber mallet in order to do that, so that I don't want to hit it too hard because it will start stretching the, the metal out. So now this has been bent like this effectively by, by banging it down. What we're trying to do is, is thicken that part of the metal up, therefore making it smaller. Same number of molecules, smaller space, uh, shrunk. So first pass on there, we're already beginning to get a little bit of shape. Now I haven't planished this out against uh, a dolly yet. Next time what I'll do is I'll probably put a dolly into that vise and we'll start planishing it out against there as well. But I'll just warm it up again and I'll do another pass on there, try and shrink it down a little bit further. Again, the warming up isn't vital, but it does just mean that every time I shrink it with the hammer, it will shrink further as it starts to cool back down. Again, it's not a five minute process with hand tools, so you can still see it's uh, the shape is starting to uh, starting to come in. We've very much still got the the flat section there. We've got the metal starting to curve up in that direction, and also starting to curve up in that direction. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pause the camera so I can get um, a dolly into this vise, and uh, I'm just going to use this here and we'll just start to planish out what we've got so we can work out how much more um, shrinking actually needs to be done on that to start getting that to bring up a bit more. So done a little bit of planishing on there then. Just starting to flatten it out a little bit. We've got the curve in that direction. We have the curve, sort of the belly in the panel there. The slight belly in the panel there. 
So again, if I wanted to make that more pronounced, what I would have to do is actually shrink the metal on this side, which will start pulling that up and pulling that up. The more I shrink it along this plane, the more I bring that side up. So I'm making this area slightly um, smaller. So it's puckering the metal up there. So when I make that come up, we'll start shrinking a little bit more along both these sides. Also slightly use the hammer off dolly technique to um to bring that round a little bit. Again we're we're getting a little bit closer, a little bit rough along the edges there. But nothing really that a little bit of a hammer and dolly work can't fix. So we've got a curve in that direction, we've got a curve in that direction, and we could actually stand to stretch the bottom part out there bring that up a little bit now you can stretch it um really using a hammer on dolly uh, we're just trying to thin that metal out there again just a, just a couple of seconds work on that that's that's it needs a lot more than that but just as a demonstration we've started bringing that area up slightly, which has given us our curves in two dimensions. So in that direction and in that direction, which is really done exactly what you would want to do if you were forming, as I say, like the curve on the edge of a roof skin, something along those lines. Now this is only one millimeter steel, but you can obviously do this with um, thicker stuff. It becomes a lot harder to work the heavier you actually get, but it's not something you can get away with without doing a little bit of shrinking, doing a little bit of stretching. Um, otherwise, we'd have to bend that panel that way, and then as soon as we tried to bend the panel back the other way, what would happen is we'd end up with these little puckers um, in here, which obviously is what we've flattened out um, by doing it like that. So that's a basic, well, a very basic um, tutorial through doing a little bit of shrinking stretching with hand tools. We'll leave it like that. I don't have a planishing hammer to hand that I can actually um, do this and flatten this nicely out, or at the very least, I can't be bothered to film it to be honest. Um, so, what we'll do is we will leave it there and so you can see the, uh, the finished product. What we're looking for is the compound curves okay so the curves running in two directions at the same time and that using two tools a blowtorch and a dolly and we've managed to do that very very simply on the same sort of um, thickness metal that you'd be using for doing um, automotive work if you were doing a like a bowl for example uh, you'd want to shrink all around the edges leave the center as it is now to start drawing it all up so i hope you found that relatively um interesting have a go if you haven't had a go before um any of the sort of more experienced fabricators who happen to be watching please feel free to uh you know critique my technique um and let me know why you think it's a it's a not a brilliant way of doing it or whether or not you think that some of those old school techniques are actually still okay fundamentally and um please please like if you liked it please subscribe and uh, drop me any comments okay till the next time take care bye